Hi everybody, it's Crystal. Welcome to my channel, Bag of Day Crochet, where we talk about everything and anything that is yarn and crochet related. And I do have a crap ton of crochet tutorials, all free for you to enjoy. Every video on my channel is free, so have at it. Look through them. I got thousands of videos, over 1,300 tutorials. Um, all there for your enjoyment. Today is uh, 8-10 of 2024, and I have some new yarn that I want to show you. So, uh, Joanne's has some new yarn. All right, pretty excited to look at it. I have other new yarns coming. Slowly but surely, they'll start putting out new yarns for winter, huh? Can't wait for that. Fall. Oh, yeah. All right. So, <laughs> this is not really, a, th this first one I'm going to show you. It's not really a new yarn, but they had new colors. And it's not even a yarn that I particularly, I don't use it for its intended purpose. How about that? I do have a tutorial for this hat. It's called On My Track. Oh, excuse me. On My Track's Beanie. Uh, you'll be able to find that um, on my YouTube channel. If you type that in, then probably well over 150 other hat tutorials as well. <laughs> All right. So this is the Red Heart. Granny Square Yarn. Now, all right, I'll tell you a little bit about the Granny Square Yarn. Surely you guys know about the Granny Square Yarn. Some people love the Granny Square Yarn. And they make these, they can do it, you know. They make these Granny Squares and they make them perfect. Me, it's too much of a hassle. I can't get it down. I don't, it's too much concentration to have all your tension perfect. Well, for me... It is, I got to have my attention perfect every time. I got to extremely concentrate to make the granny square turn out. So I don't like it. But you know what I like it for? I like it for other things. So I have a really pretty blanket that I uh, was made out of it. I'll put a picture on the screen here. How's that? That's pretty, huh? Yeah. All right. So it was made with uh, the granny square yarn. So worked up variegate or worked up as a self striping or whatever it is, variegated self striping, whatever you want to call it, yarn. It actually can turn some nice stuff. I got a hat made out of it. Um, so I thought there were two. Actually, they had a lot of pretty colors. So, like I said, I'm not going to use this for the intended purpose. I'm not going to make granny squares out of it. In fact, I'm not even a huge fan of granny squares. I have one thing I'm making out of granny squares right now, but I'll tell you the truth. <laughs> Grannies are not regular granny squares. are just not my favorite thing to make. But, um, I saw their new colors, and they had a lot of pretty ones, but there were two that I was really extremely attracted to. Of course, it would be this one because brown is my favorite color, right? I love brown, any color. Brown, 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 brown. Everywhere there's brown. Bag o day. Yes, she loves brown. This one's beautiful. Um, if you don't know about the Granny Square yarn, if you do it, just try, just try it. It'll make Granny Squares for you every time, and you, you don't have to. It's a lot harder than it looks. I'll tell you that. I don't use it for that reason, though. I don't make granny squares. But, um, no color switch and keep on stitching. I applaud anybody that can get this to work every single time. A whole dang ball of it every single time without a hitch. Every color perfect. I would, I mean, I, good for you. I applaud you. I can't even get one made. But that's okay. That's okay. Because I don't use it for other things. Um, so it's rich regular red heart super, super saver yarn, you know. It's a medium weight number four acrylic. Um, what's the yardage on this? Certainly it's probably less because you know that's how they that's how they roll. Four hundred and seventeen yards, three hundred and eighty one meters. And this one's called Espresso, patent pending. I bought this like from the yarn company Katia. Like two years ago, they have a granny square yarn and a ball. Anyways, Red Heart has patent pinning on it now. 
I guess Katia didn't do it. I wouldn't want a patent pending on this. Not to do I mean, the yarn itself, is, the color of it is cool, but not, not, not to make a yarn super out of it. But anyways, that's just me. That's just me. Like I said, I'm not dogging the yarn. I used it. I made that pretty blanket. That pretty blanket was made with it. And I have intentions for this one. And this other color that I got, you're not even going to, it's not even a color I would have ever chosen in a million years. But for some reason, I was drawn to that color. So, what I'm going to do with this is, uh, I can't tell you. But, I can tell you that, um, I want to add corresponding solids with it as was with the blanket. That, that picture of that blanket had a corresponding color of a solid. So I know, I can tell right off, uh, I can tell from the picture right off that that I, I already have the yarn as well. Uh, Cafe Latte will match it and the buff color of, your, of Red Heart will match it. Black, of course, will match it. Um, I have black buff and uh, cafe latte. So more than likely, whatever I make, I'll probably use the cafe latte and maybe the black. I don't know. And make something to correspond with it. Um, I have an idea, but we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Oh, this was on sale, I think, when I bought it for seven something a bowl, you know. Um, yeah, there it is. Okay, it's regular $9.49. On sale, I got it for $7.59, but hey, they sent me a 25 or 20% 20 coupon on code. You can leave it in your cart, you know. Well, that trick usually works. So I got that. Um, three balls of it will be enough for me to do what I want to do. I think, I think. There's actually two things I was thinking about. And if it's the other one, I'm going to have to get three more bowls. Maybe not. No, I will. I will. Because I don't want to use as much of the corresponding solid as I would that. And then, oh my gosh, they had this color. Out of all the new colors they had, I don't know why I picked this one. But my gosh, is it ever pretty. That is a pretty green yarn. Now, I like green. I do. I love, I, I like green. My typical colors of green, though, are like mossy green or avocado green, um, things like that, in that nature. It's the color of greens I go for. I don't generally go for, like, the straight-up Kelly green or whatever, green green, in grass green. But there was just something about this color combo that struck my fancy. And I thought, oh my gosh, I just have to have that. Now, when I looked at the picture, I wasn't certain other than black, what corresponding colors I could put with it. Because I'm not super familiar with all of Red Heart's greens, um, as I am their browns. Like, right off, I knew what browns would work with that, because I, I buy Red Heart Super Saver, and brown's my favorite color. So, of course, that's the one I, I buy the most. Cafe Latte is my favorite color of the Red Heart Super Saver line. So, I wasn't certain which ones would match other than black. So I took a shot in the dark and I, you know, I would, I screenshotted it and I was holding it up to the screenshotted solid ones. I was holding them up. I'm like, man, I don't know if any of these are going to match. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but I think maybe I got three of these also. I actually think I might get three more because I want to do two things, one with this one and one with this one. Whichever one, one of them is going to be bigger, and I'll have to get three more of the other one. No, it'll probably be the brown. It'll probably be the brown. But anyway, so what I did was I did my best to try to match up. Let's see how good we did here. So, <laughs> I tried and tried and tried, right? So the only... I wasn't in the store, you know. I'm online. I'm shopping online because I don't I don't go in the store very often. So I went with their patty green. All right, not their Kelly green. Their patty green. I thought I I tried both of them. I I screenshotted it and I even made a picture and put one on each side of it. And I'm like, which one matches the best? I know devices all show different, 
But I went with the patty green. And you know what? It matches pretty dang good. I don't think that the Cali green would have matched better than the patty. Let's look. Yeah. Pretty dead on match. So yeah, pretty close. I'm gonna roll with it. Now that blanket I showed you, that wasn't an exact match either. Um, in fact, I had three different colors and none of them matched exactly. Uh -huh. And uh, I went with the burgundy color against what every, everybody told me not to go with that one. Except for a couple people said so to use that one, but the majority said, do not go with that burgundy. It does not match. I thought it turned a pretty nice blanket though myself. Uh, you cannot tell that it does not. I mean, it matched good enough. You can't tell that it's not an exact match. You can't. Now that it's all worked up, you can't tell it. I'm glad I went with the burgundy. Um, and this is pretty, so close to that. That's almost a dead on match. I mean... That's like a total match, isn't it? It's pretty close. I, I mean, there's no way anybody would be able to tell. And then I looked for... I saw no green. Not on the website. It doesn't mean they don't make it. Uh, not on Joanne's. I saw none this color. And um, this one, I didn't want to take a chance on. There was one that looked kind of like it, but I wasn't sure. And then I noticed inside that there was like a bluish green. See that? And I'm like, hey... Maybe that's their mint green. <laughs> so I took a shot. Let's see if it matches. I don't know for certain if it's gonna, but it might match close enough that I could use it. Ooh, that one might not match. And that's okay if it doesn't. Oh, it does not. Oh, that was not a hit bag of day. Dang, it's hard to pick colors online. <laughs> no, but that did not do it. That is so off that I'm not even going, I wouldn't even use it because that would be a noticeable, a noticeable difference. All right, that's okay. Now I have three mint greens or minties, minties. I'll use them for something. Anyways, all right. So, I guess I'll go with the patty, patty green and black. It's not really what I wanted. I actually kind of wanted to do... If you guys can... If you guys know... You know what? I'm going to look on Michaels and Walmart.com. I'm going to see if I can find this one. Or even maybe this one. They had one at Joanne's that was close, but to me... It just didn't look like it was going to match. And I thought that mint green match. So you can tell, you can see that I was clearly, clearly wrong there. But yeah. Um, yeah, I think tonight what I'll do is I'll try to either find one of these two. That kind of looks like they have to have one that color. What do you think? And this one, like a grass green or something? I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. Anyways. I'll, if not, I'll go with this one in black. Like I said, that's not really what I wanted. But sometimes I'll just say what I always say to my kids on a daily. We don't always get what we want. Alright? But if we try sometimes, we might just get what we need. I did. I did. I got what I needed. So I'm not going to complain. I'll probably just use that. I will take a quick peek on that. Uh, Walmart, uh, online at Walmart, um, or Red Heart. Uh, maybe I'll just go to Yonshiration and see what they got. Um, they probably have the, they probably have the most since they are the Red Heart, uh, the keepers of the Red Heart yarn. <laughs> and see what I can come up with there. All right. And then they had, let's see what else they had here. Hmm. Ooh. 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 All right. So, the, the, I've never had... Uh, there's a few more new ones that I've never had before, so let's, uh, well. Yeah. 
this is called patents or patents however you say whoever you know everybody says it different evermore so if you look closely you can see that it's flecked it's brown with flecks Bagwood day loves flecks flecked yarn is flecking awesome especially when it's brown um um i can tell you though that it's not very soft at all uh let, let, let's read what it is um that's not making it oh it's recycled uh that's why i'm not a you know i like the aspect of using recycled yarns of course i like that aspect of that aspect you know but to me recycled yarns they just uh they don't feel that good they don't um but you know but i like the thought of it you know i do this one is a medium weight number four yeah good um you have to hand wash it and lay it flat a knitting needle a recommendation is a 4.5 and a crochet is a four millimeter the color i have here is called honey tweed now don't get me wrong it's a beautiful color but what is the fiber content on this stuff? 99% recycled wool and 10% polyester made in Turkey. Okay. 3.5 ounces, 100 grams. You know I'm weighing that. I'm weighing it. I'm weighing it. I'm doing it. 98. Close enough. 212 yards or 194 meters. Okay. I love wool. Wool is my favorite fiber. Any variety of wool I love. Um, of course, you know, I like some better than others, but I will have to say, um, you know, it's good job on recycling, but this is some scratchy stuff. Um, would I wear it? Yes, with a shirt underneath it. Would I wear it as a scarf? No. And I can wear some scratchy wool because I love it so much and I have no sensitivity to wool at all. This one, I wouldn't, unfortunately. Um, I think, yeah. How much was this? This is $9.99 on the reg. They had it on sale for $7.99 a bowl. Mm. Okay, so, but don't go by what I say, okay? Don't go by what I say. I always, these are just opinion based all right um i probably wouldn't i don't even have to use this to know that i wouldn't buy it again um the reason being is i don't like to say that i don't like recycled yarn but i want to be honest i really am not a fan of recycled yarn like i said i like the aspect of it but it always ends up feeling not that good sometimes when it's partially recycled and then have another fiber mixed with it. It's not as bad. But this is almost 100% recycled. And it... I don't know. I'm, I'm not a fan of this one. Okay. I'm going to move on. Um, okay. Oh, this is just some cotton I got. Um, I'm making something with it. It's a secret. This is this uh, the KC brand. KC stands for knit and crochet. It's one of Joanne's brands. Um, it's there 100% cotton, 180 yards. Um, 165 meters, lightweight number three. It's made in Turkey. So, this, the color is called Sequoia. That is a gorgeous brown. Um, it kind of reminds me of an, of an umber. Umber is my favorite color brown. That is beautiful. Um, I have another brown that I have that I'm putting with it but to make my project if you've never had uh, the KC cotton from from Joann's um, it is an exact replica exact to the T made probably in the same factory um, as Hobby Lobby I love this cotton as um, Walmart's Mainstay cotton. Mm -hmm. 
and it's yeah it's just like those same amount of yardage same weight same feel same everything about it made the same place probably just the same yarn different colors different label same yarn. same yarn it's the same so if you felt any of those i could think of more probably just not off the top of my head there's so many yarns that are like exactly just like this um Oh, ice yarns. They, they, they probably all come from ice yarns. I still sw swear ice yarns is like the main turkey manufacturer of all yarns. That's my conspiracy theory. And they sell their, their own brand. But it's the same as everybody else's, you know. No, that's no big deal, though. You know all companies do that. They have, one, they have a factory that makes, you know, even with food, like milk. I'm certain that Prairie Farms makes great value milk, too. It's... It's, I'm not 100% certain, but more than likely, or, and Kellogg's Cheerios probably makes great value Walmart brand Cheerios, you know, in the same factory. Just different boxes, different prices. Anyway, this wasn't, this isn't new, but I'm going to show you the new ones now. Okay, so this was new. I wasn't sure what to say. Ooh, that's thin, but it feels soft. Hmm. There's two in here I'm kind of excited about feeling. This is called Baby Bonnie by Big Twist, which is Joanne's brand. Um, it's 65 polyester and 35 viscose. It's got a bit of shine to it. It's actually very pretty and it's very soft. Um, look at the colors here. Purple and a... So the colors were pretty mm, muted, I, if I remember correctly. Well, let me look. It's $4.99 regular. It's on sale for $3.99. No, no, they got some dark colors in it. I have no idea why I got these, but... Let's read about it, shall we? 284 yards, 3.5 ounces. Um, a hundred, you heard that scale click on, didn't you? A hundred, or 260 meters or a hundred gram ball, huh? 108. 110. Mm, good job, Big Twist. Good job, Joanne. All right. Um, they are classifying this as a one-way yarn. Okay, let's take a look at it. Let's take a look at their one. Mm, that's a thick one. Not much of a stretch there on it at all. I'm going to give that a thick two-weight classification. But everybody classifies yarn differently. They see color differently and they see weights of yarn differently. To me, that's a thicker two-weight yarn. No. That's not a one. But anyways, it feels really nice. I think it would be great. One ball makes a hat. Yeah, it would. It would. Um, I think it'd be great for baby. Excellent for that's probably what it's marketed for. It's called baby bunny. A great baby blanket. Uh, you know, baby dress, something like that. And it's not a bad price. Um, like I said, it's on sale. It's got five star reviews. Right, right now, it's on sale for three ninety nine. Um, and let's see. Says so you can make a small sweater for six bowl with six balls. Yeah, I believe it. Fifteen balls for a baby blanket, huh? I guess that would depend on what stitch you use, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's that's cute. I don't think it's anything I would ever buy again. Just simply, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, especially if you like lighter weight yarns like that. This is really soft. It feels great. Um, and it's a decent price. Um, I don't do tons of baby things. Uh, my baby's not, or my baby's going to be nine this year. She's eight now. And, you know, uh, that doesn't mean I can't make her something out of it, though. It is soft. I generally don't make her things out of this type of yarn, though. She's spoiled. She gets different yarns. <laughs> Anyways, it, I think it's... A fine yarn, you know, especially if, uh, you know, you, for, it doesn't even have to be for baby. You can make, maybe I'll make myself a hat 
But you know what? I don't really like these colors for me for a hat. I just, they're too pastel-y. They're too pastel -y for me. I don't even know why I chose those colors. No, those, those are fine. Those are fine. There's nothing wrong with those. All right. I have two more to show you. Okay. Uh, and they're both the KC brand. KC got some, got some, uh, up in their yarn. Their yarn fibers, yarn content fibers. Their fibers. Okay. I was pretty excited. I was pretty excited. Okay. This is KC Essential Wool. 100% Super Wash Merino Fine Wool. I'm a huge fan. Of, I'm a huge fan of Super Wash Merino. It's my third favorite fiber in the entire world. Well, let's read about it. It's it's plump. Okay, so let's see here. 50 gram ball. 52. All right. 84 yards. Um, 1.8 ounces. 77 meters. 50 gram ball. And they're classifying this as a medium weight number four. Um, you can wash it, but don't dry it. The color I have here is called high tide. Okay. Four weight. It does look like a, a healthy four. Uh, that's a nice four. We'll have some stretch on it. If it's a nice merino, it does. It's nice. Okay. It feels soft. The softest merino I've ever felt. No. But it is... If I had to rate it on a merino scale. Super wash merino. That I felt. Don't worry about me rubbing it on my face. I'm making a hat out of this. I bought two balls of it. So I can make myself a blue hat. Um, I get a seven. It's not bad merino. Um, and for the price. It's not bad at all. Um, um. It's like a squishy, uh, merino. I would say, uh, it's not a, it's not a high twist or it's not twi a tight twist. It's twisted a little bit looser. Um, I think that's why it is, it appears a little thicker. It does look like, uh, it would appear that it would cause some splitting here and there. See that? That's cause it's loosely spun. But as a softest scale, I, there's a big knot, there's a knot in it. Hey, knots are acceptable though, or two to three, is it two, two to three or something? Not desirable, but acceptable, right? Definitely not desirable. It's, it's, it's soft, but you know, I think that it might, if it was a more of a tighter twist merino like I'm used to, I don't think it would hit a seven. I think it's feeling softer because it's spun spun looser. I think it was if it was spun tighter, it would probably just be an average like five merino spun like tight, uh, tight tightly like where it didn't look like such a plump four, a normal four. And I think then it would probably, yeah, probably hit like a five or a six maybe on a merino scale, but. It is plumpy and it's spun loosely, so that's making it feel really squishy and soft. I like it. I'm going to make a hat out of it. That's what I'm going to do with it. So, it's $7.99 on a regular, but right now they have it for $4.99. Five bucks a ball. Now, I know there's only 84 yards there. And that probably seems like not a lot for, you know, eight bucks on a regular, five bucks on sale. But we'll just go by the regular price, eight bucks. Um... You buy two of them, and you got um, 170 yards that, you know, yeah, that's loosely spun. Um, you uh, 
that's enough to make a hat. I bought two so I can make a hat. That's sixteen dollars for a hank of superwash merino. Now I'm thinking about it. <laughs> um. Okay, I like it. I do like it for five dollars. I don't like it for eight. I would just go buy hand dyed. <laughs> hand dyed from someone that I know and has excellent superwash merino. Um. Because then I could get it for 25 35 or 25 30 bucks a ball. Um, and opposed to 16 And theirs are going to have like 200 to 225 yards. And opposed to this one, it's only going to have 170. Um, I know that seems like it's like double the price of a hand dyed. But, I mean, a hand dyed is like double the price of this. If you're thinking $30 a hank. They're not all $30 a hank. But it would be worth it to me. Yeah, it would be worth it to me. But I'm a big fan of hand dyed yarn. So, But no, this is just fine. Um, I, I would buy it again for $5. Sure. I wouldn't buy it for $8. But yeah, $5, sure. Um, <clears throat> Alright, I got one more in here. Ooh. Ooh. I think I might have found my favorite of the bunch. This is the same. Oh, wow. Now, that's a shocker. Look at that. Okay. 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 First off, now, can we just appreciate the color on that? Can we appreciate that beautiful chestnut color? Oh, that is outstandingly gorgeous. Gorgeous brown. Pumpkin pie. Oh my my, it doesn't look, it looks like pumpkin pie crust. My hat looks like pumpkin pie. I guess there's a similarity. I guess, I guess you can say, yeah. Now that I read the name, I'm kind of visualizing, a, visually or mentally thinking about a cooked pumpkin, a baked pumpkin pie. I see it. I see it now. But it still looks, you know, it's brown. It's brownish. That is pretty. That smells good. All right, so I'm super shocked by this. I'm going to tell you why. Okay, so this is the Casey brand again. And it's uh, Super Wash Wool Luxe. Oh, that's pretty. 100% Super Wash Merino Fine Wool. 215 yards, 3.5 ounces, 197 meters, 100 grams. All right. Um, 106. Here we go. So this uh, is a uh, roving style, which happens to be my favorite. See that? Roving is a non-applied yarn. It's just kind of a one, one ply. See that? It's not uh, twists of yarn. So you don't really have to worry about it splitting on you. Now, the thing is, though, with roving that a lot of people don't like, and it is just the nature of the roving. It does have a tendency to go from thick to thin in different spots. I don't mind that. So some spots, so I'll tell you what surprised me. And I only bought one ball because of it. It said it was a number two weight yarn. That is not a two weight yarn. That's like a four weight yarn. Um, yeah, two weight. Mm -mm, not at all. Six, six millimeter knitting needles and a three millimeter crochet hook. Not in a million years would I use a three mil on that. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. I love roving yarn so much. There's another knot in that one. Hey. It's acceptable, just not desirable. It was not. There's another one that's two in that ball. Oh my gosh. So, back to the roving style. You can see how uh, it can hit some... A lot. Sometimes people don't know that roving is inconsistent like this. And sometimes when I read reviews about yarns, if I see a yarn as a roving style and it has bad reviews, I always go read them because most of the time it's going to say, the yarn was so inconsistent I couldn't use it. Well, it's, that's just the way it is. I mean, that's a roving yarn. 
So I don't really take those type of reviews into consideration because I know that um, maybe that was someone that never experienced roving before. Now, some can do it worse than others, don't get me wrong, but usually they'll level out at what weight they say. Now, this is not going to level out at a two weight. This is definitely... There are spots that are sitting probably a three, but mostly through it, it looks like it's hitting a four or, or, or at the very least a thick three, a light four. That's a four weight yarn. Even the, even the yardage would, or the weight, 100 grams, 250 yards, that would suggest a four weight yarn. That is three knots in that ball. I am not happy about that. Three is too many. That is not acceptable. <laughs> Uh, look at that one those aren't just ply hanging off either those are knots two three Ooh. Ooh. i had high hopes for you i still do though you're very pretty oh my gosh so this stuff is regular $14.99 15 dollars a ball i should have read that it was a 100 gram ball at 215 yards. I would have known that it was not a two weight yarn. I just didn't, I didn't read it. They have it on sale for $11.99. Oh, ho, ho. I'm going to go make a hat real quick. I'll be back in a flash. I'm back. And that made one mighty fine looking hat. I like it. This yarn a lot. Isn't that pretty? It's since it's roving style, it's squishy, it's soft, and that's going to be a nice warm hat. It's so pretty. It's pretty. That's my favorite yarn of the bunch. Um, no, I don't have a tutorial for this. I just made it really quick. If I would have done had to do a tutorial, it would have took me like six hours. Um, so I, I just made it real quick for this video um so no i don't have to talk about this but it's a beautiful beautiful yarn um okay so this stuff is regular 14.99 it's a kc uh super super wash wool lux that they say is a two weight now after working with it is the roving style um i would say that it's a four um a thick three or just you know four you know it's roving it goes from thick to thin but it didn't do it too bad I, i'd still say it's just like maybe a lighter four or something but definitely not a two definitely a nice yarn and then i said that it had three knots in it i will take that back my mistake it actually only had one which is acceptable like i said not desirable but acceptable the other two things that i saw were at they were just fuzzies uh wrapped around each other and they pulled right off so yes i went what was left of the ball i went through it all to to see if there was uh any knots and the knot actually didn't was at the end so it didn't even hit my hat so i'm super super stoked so woohoo I got a new new super wash wool. I like that. They have a lot of pretty colors. They got oh so pretty. Check it out. Well, if you like roving style and you like super wash wool, you'll probably like this. It's it's soft and squishy. I can see it now that it's worked up. It does look like a pumpkin pie. I didn't see it in the ball, you know. I'm like pumpkin pie. No, no. I see it. I see it now. It looks like it's very fall now to me. <laughs> Anyways, so by far, this is the favorite of the KC yarns so far that I've got that, that I showed you of the new yarns today. This one is by far my favorite. Sorry about my dogs. Um, this one is a no-go. It's just too dang rough for me. And that's sad because... I, I can use some more. Um, and as I mentioned, uh, 
Uh, these aren't new, the granny square all in one, but these were new colors. Couldn't pass up that green for some reason. I could, tried. I just could not. Definitely wasn't passing up that brown. I do have plans for those, to, though, for a course when I get the corresponding colors for that green. Um, now, this other KC yarn, that was new. Oh, there was the, the new Big Twist uh, Bunny Baby. Nothing wrong with that at all. If you like lighter weight yarns, and um, it's it's soft and, and nice. So, I no problem with that one. Uh, not, it was a uh, five bucks, too. So, now this other one here, um, the Essential Wool by KC uh, Superwash. Still classified as a four, which I give it a four weight. It is four. It's squishy. It's soft. It's just not spun extremely tight. That's why I, I do believe that it's squishy. But it's for the regular price, $8. I wouldn't buy it again. But for $5, yes. I'm actually, I have another ball, like I said. As soon as I'm done with this video, I'm going to go make it. Another hat. Not not the same one that I just said. I don't like to make the same things twice. <laughs> but this stuff right now is on sale for 12 bucks. I mean, I got a cool hat. And it's nice. The color is gorgeous. The yarn was, man, it was my pleasure to work with it. It was excellent. Um, it's so soft and squishy. I, while it's on sale, see a very beautiful green. A very beautiful uh, dark rose color. They even got some variegated that I might. Ooh, a pomegranate. Oh, a gold. Uh navy bod's going back bod's going back and what i would do is i would just buy one ball of each and make hats with them um for the fall because you know i like i like to make hats and i wear hats all the time it's my trademark in my channel from my channel but anyways i like to wear them um would i buy this for a sweater no reason being because it's robing style not a huge fan of using roving style for garments because you, uh, what's it say? It says that, that you can wash it, but don't dry it. I would never recommend, uh, putting a roving style yarn in the washing machine, regardless of what the tag says. Um, I hand wash everything that I make anyways, but especially roving, that's not one I would ever put in there because it's, you know. It's not plied up. It's just, it's just there. All right, I'm gonna go. This was fun. I got a new, very nice hat that I love. And now I'm gonna get up off here and go buy one ball of. I see three colors that I want. I gotta get them. I gotta make some more hats for. I'll make tutorials with the new balls. All right. Mm-hmm. Balls are coming. Oh, today is 8 10 2024 to make him in the video, all right? And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on my next one. Thanks for watching. It was a good time. Bye.